Getting to that breaking news at 6, a guilty verdict tonight in the trial of a man accused of murdering six members of his own family in Gage Park. WGN's Julian Cruz live at the Cook County Criminal Court building with more on that. Julian. Well, Micah, the defendant, Diego Uribe, now 28 years of age, found guilty on all six counts of first-degree murder, along with lesser counts. Prosecutors say that he brutally beat, stabbed, or shot six members of a Gage Park family, including two young boys. It's a monster que ahora es. The father of the slain boys calling the defendant a monster. The now convicted multiple murderer, Diego Uribe, with no visible reaction as the courtroom clerk stood to deliver the verdict. Today's verdict has been six years in the making. It's been a long time for this family who has been hoping for justice for this long. The Cook County jury taking the better part of two days to deliberate at the Leighton Criminal Courts building, reaching a unanimous verdict. Uribe found guilty of executing a murderous rampage on February 2nd of 2016. He and his then 19-year-old girlfriend, Jafeth Ramos, arriving at his aunt's Gage Park home, investigators say, on the 5700 block of South California, Ramos putting a gun to his aunt's head, according to testimony from Uribe's girlfriend, demanding all the money in the house. The aunt, 38-year-old Maria Martinez, laughing at first, thinking it was a joke, according to prosecutors. Prosecutors, a struggle ensuing before Uribe shot her several times. Next, it was Noe Martinez Jr. getting pistol whipped to death, according to investigators. Another relative, Rosara Martinez, then kicked down a flight of stairs. Uribe then stabbing the 58-year-old to death. Testimony from the convicted killer's girlfriend, a key element of this trial, Ramos, who pled guilty to armed robbery charges in a plea deal, tying her ex-boyfriend to the horrific killings. Ramos testifying that Uribe, in an act of unimaginable cruelty, ordering his aunt's terrified children, 13-year-old Leonardo Cruz and younger brother, 10-year-old Alexis, to gather up money and valuables in the house, according to investigators Uribe, then stabbing the boys to death. Among the evidence jurors considered, Uribe and his girlfriend allegedly confessing to Chicago police detectives. After the day's emotional conviction, in regards to Uribe, relatives say they can't understand what happened to him. No sé quién es esa persona. I don't know who that person was, says Armando Cruz. He's not the boy who I watched grow up. Now, contained within those first-degree murder charges, prosecutors explaining to us are a host of lesser charges. Sentencing is set for next month. At the Leighton Criminal Courts building, Julian Cruz, WGN News.